may I think about my twin flame? Or does letting go mean I'm not allowed to think about them at all? I have to think about them all the time. Is that a bad thing? I'm answering questions like these in this video, so stay tuned. Well, the thing is, you cannot really stop thinking about them now, can you? <laughs> I feel the kind of obsession that we have, especially in the beginning of the twin flame journey, is actually wanted by the universe. Why? Because we manifest where we put our intention. So if you put our intention on a specific person, we manifest them. Now you may be wondering, yeah, but why am I not in union with them if thinking about them manifests them? Well, that is because you probably have a bunch of other thoughts as well. You know, they may be old fears, they may be conscious or subconscious fears, there may be old behavioral patterns, there may be a red line in your life, a red thread in your life that you have experienced, you may have an anxious attachment style, you know, all of those things in the subconscious mind are also a manifestation that is getting pushed out. So when you think about them and then you have all of those negative beliefs, there's two orders getting out to the universe simultaneously. And either the stronger one wins or in some cases we have that on off on off situation because you manifest them and then they reach out. But you have still maybe some fears of abandonment, lack mentality that will push them away again and then you have this on off on off situation but when we fall in love and we think about this person that is our soul remembering a different timeline because you remember time doesn't exist everything is in the now so there is another timeline in this multiverse where in this now you already are with this person and it doesn't mean that it would be the same date that we have right now because again time is an illusion there is only the now so there is a version of you where you are with this person and then you remember them so thinking about someone you could say is kind of like remembering an alternate universe where you are with them and where we can get to because we constantly shift in this multiverse so yes this thinking is kind of like important it's on autopilot because it sets something in motion that is telling the universe, I want to experience the timeline where I am with this person. So all you have to do, and I know it's easier said than done, is cancel the other order that is prohibiting it. So when you think about your person, it depends really on the thoughts you're sending out. If you close your eyes and you visualize being with them in this moment, they're with you, you're cuddling them. Yes, you can do that. You even should do that. <laughs> Not 24-7, of course. Some people think, oh, the more I affirm, the more I visualize, the faster I get with them. Unfortunately, it is not exactly like that because if you do it like five hours a day nonstop and you're like, okay, I have to do my affirmations 20,000 times a day. I am exaggerating, but a specific number of times and I have to do that for an hour and that for an hour to get to union faster Then you're still in this like mentality because you are trying to control the situation. You want to get there faster because you're not there yet. And that will manifest, of course, in it not happening. So it's not about how long you do it. Yes, you should do it regularly. And if you don't visualize, then you can use affirmations. You can do scripting. You can do daydreaming. You can do inner dialogues. I do have a playlist with different methods of manifesting. Just find your perfect method and use that in order to tell the universe, I want this union. But the more important factor is canceling the other stuff you send out unconsciously. You know, as I said earlier, if you're not in self-love, if you have bad self-concept, we cannot attract somebody who treats us well. So we have to clear that first. We first have to install a program. I'm totally worth of this union. I'm totally worth to be adored. And how do we do that? We affirm I am adorable and we do revise situations in the past where we have been rejected or neglected or abused in some kind of way in order to clear that energy out of the subconscious so that that cannot manifest in keeping the other person as well. Remember, you're not a victim. You are a divine being. You are a divine creator and nothing is happening to you. Life is not happening to you. It's happening through you. Yes, think about them. but. Remember the law of assumption. You are manifesting what you assume. If you assume love hurts, 
that is going to manifest. If you assume, well, they are the twin flame runner, you are manifesting them running. I do have a video specific on why you should not call your twin flame a runner anymore because that is manifesting them to run. If you perceive them as being absent from you, as being away from you and separate from you, then that is what you're manifesting. So your thoughts, they do manifest. So when you think about them, it's not about should you think about them or shouldn't you? It's absolutely fine to think about them unless this makes you feel anxious and bad right now. Then think about something else, get your life in order and put them aside for a moment because manifesting should feel good and if there's a lot of negative beliefs and you cannot think positively about them, then use the revision technique to clear all of the th negative stuff that happened to get that out of your system and then get back to thinking positive because actually that will happen automatically. I have a surfer in my mind and he's sitting on his board and she's sitting on her board on the ocean and there's no wave coming. It's no use to try to make it happen, you know, to paddle back to the shore and just wasting your energy. You just sit there on your board and chill and wait for the next wave to come because there's always a new wave to come. I mean, you wouldn't go out surfing. I'm not a surfer when you know there is no wind that day, right? Or no waves that day, you would check other waves. There is a new wave to come. There is a new wave of energy. There is a new wave of positivity. That's just how life is. So if there is no wave there right now, you just, you don't waste by fighting or oh, have to think about them positively. Now, you just focus on yourself. You meet your friends, you do your shadow work. I cannot stress the importance of finding negative beliefs that may hold your manifestation back. So it's not thinking about them that is holding them back. It's the way you think about them. Do you think about them in a loving way? When they come into your mind, how do you react? I also have a video called something like, are you upset when you feel their energy? Because some people, they get upset when they feel a person's energy, but that is just telling the universe, I don't want my person to be there. Check out that video if you struggle, if you have thoughts like, oh, I'm annoyed that they come to me telepathically, but not in real life, then this video is definitely for you. So yes, you are absolutely allowed to think about your twin flame. How else do you want to manifest them? if you don't not put any energy in there. But that does not mean I have to do it obsessively. That does not mean I have, the more I do it, the faster they come. Again, manifesting is supposed to be fun. You talk to them in your mind as if they were with you. If they, or you visualize, you come up with some scenes, some scenarios that make you feel good. How they hold you, how good they feel when they're around you. You talk to them when you're cooking like, oh, hon, I hope you like this too. I know how much you like pasta. <laughs> I'm making pasta for us. <laughs> Act as if they were there. And I know this may feel delusional, but please remember the little practice of imagining to eat an orange. Your conscious mind knows you're not eating an orange, but your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between reality and daydreaming. Or visualization and your body will actually produce saliva so we don't want to make your conscious mind believe yeah they're standing right there right next to me we want to get into a state of daydreaming or visualizing and making a subconscious belief that they are in fact with you in this very moment and when you do that and for the rest of your day you just stay on the mental diet and make sure you don't send out canceling orders oh how long is this taking they're not there yet when is this finally working when are they going to reach out how they're going to reach out what problems do we have to solve you know all of that that is canceling energy if you unlearn canceling energy then your order of union of being with them can get through to the universe and you will shift into the timeline where you are with them so it's all up to you which is good because you don't have to wait for them to realize anything you just change within you and you shift to the timeline where they already have realized that isn't that amazing you don't have to wait for them to heal their past trauma you change your energy and you change your assumption that they have past trauma. You visualize them in their best and healed version. And then you shift to the timeline where they already have dealt with that or where they're dealing with that automatically. It's as simple as that. I know there's a difference between simple and easy. It is that simple. It is not easy because it does take some practice to learn to observe your thoughts and trying to regulate you know stepping into negative thinking and then rerouting your mind and like no we're not going there 
I'm not uncanceling my order and you do your affirmations of I am worthy of being loved I am open to receive love my person loves me my twin flame is with me they're with me all the time it feels so good to have them with me and then that is what's going to happen so yes think about them <laughs> think about them but think of them as their very best version think of the version you want to experience because again the universe thinks you want to experience whatever you focus on if you focus on the version of them that is unhealed and absent that's the timeline you'll get why why don't do that because there is another timeline available for you where they are ready just step into the energy by seeing them as their best version by seeing them as the version that already chose you, that knows that you are their person, their forever person, the person to grow old with. See them as the version that absolutely respects you and treats you like their king or queen. See them as the version who is in the king or queen mode, in the divine feminine or masculine mode. And if you start seeing them as already being there, and you step into the energy of being there by doing the shadow work, then you can experience that version of them that timeline is open so yes think about them tell the universe that's what you want but even more important the universe basically already knows because you already have put a lot of energy in there so the universe kind of already get that order <laughs> now it's just about learning not to send out the cancellations or the strong order of absence and neglect so have fun with it and if you need help I am available for personal coaching. Check out my other videos. There's tons of coaching, free coaching available in the Twin Flame playlist, in the manifesting playlist. I do have meditation, so reprogram your mind because as I said, it does take constant repetition to get a new belief into your subconscious mind. But if you just repeat it often enough, then you will get it into the subconscious mind because your subconscious mind believes you basically everything you tell it. If you just tell it enough, if this video helped you, please share it. It can help others as well. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. All of that helps me growing my channel, which means that the algorithm is showing this video to more people that can benefit. Well, you could say we are all connected, you know, to the to the fl twin flame oversoul. It does help the collective, and we want to help the collective, right? Because we are part of the collective. Well, if this video helped a lot and you want to help me personally, there is my PayPal address below if you want to leave a little tip. Check out my new Facebook. <laughs> Check out my new Facebook groups. They're really new. So maybe you want to join those Facebook groups. I have one about Twin Flame Astrology, a soulmate to astrology, and one about manifesting your Twin Flame stay tuned check out my courses maybe they are already up when you watch that or i will be coming soon about how to manifest your twin flame there will be free content here on youtube and then there will be an extended course you can purchase with workbooks and everything but i see you there or i see you in another video until then i do wish you all the best now bye bye